Even though he has a brilliant reputation in various operations and became an icon of the fighter jet in the film Top Gun, Maverick. However, Boeing Aerospace on February 23, 2023 has decided to end production of the F-A-18 Super Hornet at the end of 2025, that is, after its final completed delivery to the U.S. Navy. Even though the production line will close at the end of 2025, the F-A-18 Hornet fighter jet, which is the backbone of the U.S. Navy's air power, continues to receive weapons updates. The latest is news of plans for the F-A-18E-F Super Hornet to be able to launch the GBU-53-B Stormbreaker Smart Bomb produced by Raytheon Technologies RTX. Quoted NavyTechnology.com. November 7, 2023. The U.S. Navy said it would optimize the attack capabilities of the F-A-18E-F Super Hornet with Stormbreaker. Stormbreaker was initially used on the F-15E fighter jet and is currently undergoing integration testing on the F-35 Lightning II stealth fighter jet. The U.S. Air Force declared Stormbreaker initial operational capability on the F-15E Strike Eagle in 2022, marking its successful integration and performance in an operational context. Currently, the third variant of the F-35 is undergoing integration testing with Stormbreaker. Leveraging experience on the F-15E, Raytheon claims to be able to achieve the integration process and reduce the number of flight tests required. This approach saves time and conserves resources, allowing the U.S. Navy to utilize Stormbreaker capabilities more quickly. This year, Raytheon Technologies was awarded a contract worth approximately 320 million US dollars for the production and delivery of 1,500 Stormbreaker smart weapon systems for the US Air Force. These weapon features provide airmen the ability to engage targets in challenging and dynamic scenarios, thereby enhancing their operational capabilities. One of the Stormbreaker's standout features is its multi-mode search system, which drives the weapon using infrared camera sensors, millimeter wave radar, and semi-active lasers, in addition to GPS and inertial navigation system guidance. This approach ensures a high level of accuracy and adaptability in a variety of operational scenarios. The Stormbreaker's compact size means fewer aircraft are needed to address the same number of targets compared to larger weapons that require multiple jets. GBU-53-B Stormbreaker, previously known as Small Diameter Bomb 2. Development began in 2006 for a 250-pound, 113kg, class bomb. Can identify and attack moving targets from long distances in all weather conditions. Even though the decision has been announced, Boeing said production could continue until 2027, as long as India acquires the F-A-18 Super Hornet to be placed on the INS Vikrant aircraft carrier. Unfortunately, India has decided Dassault Aviation's Rafael M as the winner in its multi-role carrier-based fighter, MRCBF, program. The F-A-18 Hornet first debuted in 1983, and was produced by McDonnell Douglas, whose companies were merged into Boeing in 1997. More than 2,000 Hornets, Super Hornets and Growlers have been delivered to the US military in several countries, such as Canada, Finland, Australia, Kuwait, and Malaysia. However, the fate of the twin-engine fighter jet has been in doubt in recent years. The U.S. Navy has decided not to purchase any more Super Hornets after fall 2021 and plans to focus orders on the F-35C Lighting II stealth fighter jet. Only an act of Congress can be said to keep Super Hornet production going at this point. News of plans to close the F-A-18 Super Hornet production line comes less than a month after Boeing delivered the last Boeing 747 jumbo jet, cargo, aircraft, ending the production debut of the Boeing 747 family after half a century of service. 
Boeing said the F-A-18 production permit will allow it to focus on future military aircraft programs, both manned and unmanned, and increase other defense production programs. Boeing also said it plans to build three new facilities in St. Louis, Louis, where the F-A-18 is currently manufactured and assembled. While closing the Super Hornet production line is still in planning status, Boeing said it will continue to develop the capabilities of the F-A-18 Super Hornet and EA-18G Growler. The F-A-18 Hornet entered service in January 1983, then first deployed on the Hornet aircraft carrier USS Coral Sea and participated in its first combat mission in 1986. Later, the Hornet conducted air-to-ground operations during the 1991 Persian Gulf War. Continuing to operate combat in Afghanistan since 2001, the Hornet displayed its massive strike capabilities. The next generation, the F-A-18E-F Super Hornet made its first flight in November 1995. The F-A-18E-F has more maneuverability, range and payload than the original Hornet and is 25% larger. The engine is also more powerful. The Super Hornet entered service with the US Navy in 1999. The first Block II Super Hornet, updated with an ESA, active electronically scanned array, multi-mode radar, was delivered by Boeing in April 2005.